<laughs> okay. Hi everyone, it's Jillian here from Skis and Bikes and today I'm going to take you through a guide on how to choose goggles. So we're going to start at the least expensive options and take you all the way to the more premium goggles and I'll take you through some of the features and what to look for in each kind of category. So if you're a beginner skier or maybe you're a teen or you're just trying to get out on the hill and you're not quite sure what kind of goggle to get and you want to try to just try something that's not too expensive, not gonna break the bank. We've got some great options for you. So first we have these two goggles from Giro. These are both $99. The first one here is called the Rome. This one also comes in Asia fit or low bridge fit and is more of a men's size fit. And then we also have the Moxie, which is a, a women's fit or a teen fit. They both come with a second lens. This is your low light lens that you would wanna use for overcast days or cloudy days. And the primary lens is one that you would use for more of a sunny day or mixed cloud and sun day. So they have nice mirror coating, they have uh, anti-fog coating, great venting that works really well with the Giro helmet venting. So those are two great options, the Moxie and the Roam that you could consider. Other options, we have the Drift, which is a small women's fit or teen fit and the Range, which is more of a men's large fit. These, just like the two previous, come with some of those premium features, great venting so you're not getting that fogging, anti-fog coating, a bag to store your goggles in. These ones don't have the second lens, but they're priced at $94 and have all of those great features that we love about Smith goggles. So for the first price point, check out these options and then we'll move to something a little more premium. Okay, next we're gonna talk about OTG goggles. These are over the glasses goggles. And it should be noted that most goggles can be OTG goggles. So if they're a larger fit, just try them on with your glasses and your helmet on. In most cases, they can fit on top, but these ones are specifically designed as over the glasses goggles. They have more venting, they're a little bit deeper, and they're a little bit wider to accommodate those glasses. So if you're a glasses wearer like myself, you can try out some of these options. So let's go from the smallest frame up to the largest frame. Here we have the Smith Sequence OTG. This is for a uh, women's small face. This is $149. And then we have the Smith Sequence OTG. This is for a men's medium sized face. It's $149. This is the Reason OTG from Smith. And it's a little bit cheaper. It's $90 and I'll tell you why in a second. And then we have the Giro Index 2.0, which is uh, also $149. So with our $149 options, these three here, they have a premium lens to them. Um, that is, in the case of Smith, it's a chromopop lens, which gives you that premium contrast and clarity. And then with the Giro option, it's a vivid lens, which does the same thing. Great, great clarity, great contrast. So you can see every little bump and crevice on the hill. With our Reason OTG, which is $90, you get a basic lens, but it keeps the price down and it's a functional great goggle option as well. So if you're looking for a great over the glasses option, um, check out these goggles or on our website, look for the icon that says over the glasses for some of our um, goggles that aren't necessarily made for over the glasses, but can be used for them. So now let's move on to the next category. Okay, let's get into some of our more mid price point options. So first we have our Smith Squad goggles. These are some of our best selling goggles. First one here is the Smith Squad S and it's more of a women's small fit. And this is the Smith Squad, more of a men's medium fit. They're both $149.99. Uh, and they come with a bonus lens. The second lens is for low light, and the lens that it comes with is for overcast or for a sunny day, depending on which lens you choose as the primary lens. Both have anti-fog coating and premium venting that is compatible with all helmets, but most specifically with Smith helmets. The primary lens is also Chromapop, which is the premium Smith lens technology that gives you um, ultimate color and contrast when you're on the hill and you want to avoid those bumps and crevices on the low light days. So next we have the Giro Facet Goggle. This one is a women's medium fit. It's $199.99 and has a lot of great features. 
It comes with the Giro uh, Vivid Lens technology, which is the Giro Premium lens that you can get. So you have that ultimate color and clarity for skiing down the hill and being able to see everything as you're going. And then we have our uh, Giro Method, which is a men's large fit and comes with a secondary lens. Both lenses are Vivid lenses, which is not something you get with every bonus lens. You don't get that premium lens for both lenses. And in this case, for the method, this is the lowest price point of getting that premium lens for both lenses. These ones are $199, which is great value. It's because of all these features, it's uh, one of our most popular goggles and looks very cool as well. So if you're looking for that mid-tier, which gives you great options, great lenses, check out these options from Jiro and Smith. Okay, and let's go to the mid-level, but just a little bit more premium. And it looks like I have a lot of options, but a lot of them are the same goggle, but in different sizes. So the first one I have here is the Giro Article goggle and the Giro Lucy goggle. So the Lucy is more of a women's fit and the Article is more of a men's fit or unisex fit for a larger face. They both come with vivid lenses on as the primary lens and a vivid lens as the bonus lens. So you get two vivid lenses all in that one price. As you can see from our Giro goggles here, they have that expansive view technology so you can see a wider field of vision and they have venting called evac vent venting that works perfectly for Giro helmets but can be very effective with other helmets. Our next goggle is our Access and our Ella. These are the same goggle but different fits. So we have more of a men's fit in the Access and more of a women's fit in the Ella. Same story from our Article and our Lucy. They have that expansive view technology with that premium venting, two vivid lenses to give you that ultimate clarity and contrast on the hill. Next choice here is our Line Miner. This is from Oakley. These come with two lenses for $239. If you want the option with one lens, we have those as well. They're closer to $190. But these ones with the two lenses come with two Oakley Prism lenses. So two premium lenses included. And they have that wide field of vision. And these are a very popular option for um, park skiers and anyone looking for a goggle to fit with sort of any helmet. You can kind of mix and match Oakley Line Miner with any helmet option. So check these out as sort of a mid-tier option, sort of like the entry level into getting into those like premium $300 plus goggles that I'll talk about next. Okay, so now we're into our premium goggles. Um, these ones have a price range from about $305 to $360. I'm gonna go through another grouping of premium goggles after this, but this is our first round. So let's start with the Giro Contour. This is the Giro Contour. This is the Contour RS, which is a smaller size, so more of a medium-sized goggle. And then this is our Giro Contour, which is our larger fit goggle. They both come with a, a bonus lens, and both the primary lens and the bonus lens are Giro Vivid lenses, which is their premium lens offering that I mentioned before. Their lenses are made by Zeiss. Get that ultimate color, clarity, contrast that you need when you're on the hill. They have that wide field of vision, that seamless lens fit, and premium anti-fog coating, and uh, evac venting. So now on to our Oakley flight deck. This one is designed after a fighter pilot helmet, and you can kind of see that in the look. This one is the uh, flight deck large, but also comes in a medium size. Comes with a secondary bonus lens. Both lenses are the premium prism lenses that Oakley offers. From Oakley, we only carry goggles with that prism lens, so you can really trust that you're gonna get that best clarity on the hill. Next, we're over to more of a race style goggle. This is the Hawk Nexel Clarity Comp, a goggle that comes with two lenses. Both lenses are made to be used while racing at 100 kilometers an hour. They know that you need to be able to see perfectly when you're at those speeds. But if you're just a regular person on the hill, not a ski racer, you can also use these goggles. They offer a lot of great features that you might find useful. They come with adjustable venting. So for a sunnier day or for a colder day, you can adjust the venting on the top. 
They have these outriggers, which allows the goggle to fit closer to your face so you don't get any distortion on the sides. And they come with these zygomatic bone covers, which protect your cheeks from crashes or from the sun. And these goggles come in two sizes. This is the regular fit, and then we have the mid fit. So for a teen or smaller face, go with the mid fit, and for a larger face, go with the regular fit. These are some of the options from that premium price point. So these are some of the goggles from our premium price point. Definitely worth the money. Take care of them. Use the included goggle bag to wipe your lenses so they don't scratch. Keep them in a bag to protect them. They'll go the distance for you and they can last as many years as you want. You'll be able to see clearly, perfectly, without any fogging, out in, without any issues on the hill. So let's move on to the other premium price point collection. Okay, so let's get into magnets. These are our uh, next level premium goggles that all come with magnetic lens changes. So over here at the top of the heap is our Anon M4 series. We have an M4 regular and an M4S. S stands for a smaller fit. So if you have a face like mine, that might be the better size for you. The Anon M4 comes with the most premium options of any of the goggles that we carry. First, they have a magnetic lens change that is one of the easiest that we've encountered. It literally just comes off, but these magnets are very strong, so you don't have to worry about them falling off while you're mid-ride. They also come with a second lens that comes in its own really sturdy case that will protect that secondary lens. Other lens cases that you saw are just a like a goggle wipe material. These ones are very sturdy, very strong. M4 also comes with a MFI face mask. This is a magnetic face mask that pops off from where your nose is and it magnetically sticks back in. This protects your nose from any cold. And then it also has a venting hole for your mouth so you're not getting any of that steam buildup in your, in your mask. So you can get the M4S or the M4 with a toric lens, which is spherical, gives you a wider field of view, or the cylindrical, which is a little more stylish and gives you a great field of view as well. So the Anon M4 is $399. It's definitely one of our most premium price point, but it comes with so many great features that you're definitely gonna love. And this is the goggle that I use, and I now can't live without all of the features that they offer. So next we have the Smith 4D Mag and the Smith 4D Mag S. The S is, again, the smaller size, and the regular is regular men's fit. So really cool features in these as well. They have the magnetic lens change. They have this bird's eye view curve to the bottom of the lens, which offers you 25% more uh, viewing vision power than other goggles. So you can see down, you can see up, you can see your skis and your, or your board. These are great. I've tried them and love that you can get those like all different angle at all different peripheries. The 4D comes with a second lens as well. It also has that same curve to the bottom of the lens and that's your low light lens that's included. The 4D mag is $369.99, so still up there, but packed with so many features that you're not gonna be able to resist. So moving down in price point, we have the IO mag. The IO mag comes in a IO mag S and an IO mag XL. So the XL will be your largest size and your S will be your smallest size and your IO mag regular just right in the middle there. So this is the IO mag regular size. It comes with its secondary lens. It's $319.99 and it uh, comes with a magnetic lens change and the Chromapop Smith Premium Lenses. Definitely a great choice and a lot of great different fit options in the different sizes. Our last but not least, definitely not least, one of our best-selling goggles is the Smith Squad Mag Goggle. This comes in a Squad Mag S and a Squad Mag XL. So your S is your smallest size again and your XL is your largest size. So you have all different kinds of options to make sure that your goggle is fitting right within your helmet on your face. So this is a cylindrical lens, which brings the price point down a little, but you still get that premium Chromapop lens from Smith to give you that ultimate clarity and contrast. It also comes with a second Chromapop lens, so you can change between a low light lens and a sunny day lens. 
So these are our premium goggles with magnetic lens change options. Having a magnetic lens change gives you the ability to change your lens from a sunny day lens to a low light lens really easily. In a lot of cases, you can do it with your gloves or mitts on on the chairlift. So check these out if you want to be able to switch really quickly. So now let's take a look at some of the differences between a sunny day lens, a mixed sun and cloud lens, and a low light lens. Okay, now let's talk about lenses. So I spoke a lot about how a lot of goggles come with two lenses, and now we're gonna chat about why you would need a feature like that on your goggles. So in front of us here, we have a range of lenses. So on this end, we have our sunny, sunny day lens, something that you might use in the Alps, or on a glacier, it's like pure sun day, bluebird sky, the ultimate ski day. That's on this end. And then on this end, we have our almost clear lens, something that you might use night skiing. So that's the whole flow of lenses. So with lenses, there's a number associated with how dark or how light the lens is. This is called VLT or visible light transmission. So if the VLT is really high, then you have a lens that is letting a lot of light through. So if you're night skiing, you want a lot of light to come through. So if the number is up in the hundreds, 99 up, up there, that's a high VLT lens and that's like almost clear. Then on the other end, if you have a low VLT lens, this is letting very little light through. So down in the one, two, three, four, five, that's a very sunny day lens. And then you have the whole range in between. So another way that lenses are identified is with an S number. So on the lightest end of the spectrum, we have the S0, then the S1, S2, and on the darkest end is the S3. So now I'll explain how each lens could be useful to you. So the first one is on our darkest side is a lens that would be great for skiing in the Alps on a glacier, like I said. It's a very, very sunny day. It's going to be a great ski day for you. There's a lot of reflection coming off of the snow. You want a very dark lens so that you don't get any eye fatigue. This is the one to go for. Next in line is sort of one of the more popular options than going super dark is a S2. This will have sort of a medium high VLT and is a great like sunny day, but not like super sunny day and a little bit of maybe clouds coming in and out. That's sort of the most popular lens for that type of conditions. Then on sort of the lower end, it's not quite a clear lens. It has a lot of color still in it and a lot of mirroring. This will be a great lens for an overcast day. It's still bright, but it's overcast. So you need to be able to see bumps and crevices on the hill, or if it's sort of later in the day, like 4 p.m., sometimes it gets pretty dark and it's tough to see all those bumps and crevices. And then on the lightest end of the spectrum, if you're like night skiing or it's actually just dark outside, then you want to go to a basically clear lens. So on our website, with every goggle, you can choose your primary lens and then the secondary lens is usually a low light lens that is included and you don't get to choose. But with the primary lens, choose something that's suited to the skiing that you're going to be doing. So check out that VLT or that S number and just make sure it's something that is going to be useful to you. So if you're mostly skiing in like a mix of sun and cloud, then go closer to this end. But if you're heading to the Alps, lucky you, like go for something a little bit darker. So one other lens I wanted to talk about is a lens that's included and common in our kids' goggles or in our sort of price point adult goggles. And that is the RC36 or the RC40. 36 and 40 stands for the VLT, so that's the visible light transmission coming through this goggle. So it's very average. It's a goggle that's meant for sort of an everyday, go with the flow, use, cloudy, mix of sun. It can kind of do it all and that's this lens here. This is the RC36, but also the RC40 in other models. So that's one that you can check out on our website as well. So it's mostly the primary lens that you're choosing, and then you'll get your secondary lens included, and it's usually a low light lens. So check out the details on our website, and happy shopping. Okay, and now we've got the fun stuff, the kids' goggles. So I've got them arranged here from smallest to largest. On the smallest end, we have the uh, Smith Rascal, the Giro Chico 2.0, the Pac Paquito Obson, the Giro Buster, the Smith Daredevil, 
the Smith Grom, and the Giro Stomp. So if your child is age like two, three, four, maybe five, they're probably into this size range. It's the Smith Rascal and the Giro Chico 2.0. And then moving along, if they're sort of six to a nine, they're sort of in this range from the Pac Paquito Obson to the, the Daredevil here. And then into the higher ages, up to maybe age 12, depending on their size, they can go into the Grom and Stomp. So the best way to know if the goggle fits your child is to bring them into the store, have them try on a helmet with the goggles. You wanna make sure that there's no pressure points. They're not having their cheeks push into their eyes or nothing is scrunching in their face and they're feeling comfortable. You want them to have the best field of vision so that they can see all the action on the hill. If you're buying online, use their helmet size as a guide. So if they're an extra small, small, then they're probably in this lower end in the Rascals and the Chicos 2.0. If they're a children's uh, medium size, they're in this, or large size, they're in this higher end of sized goggles. The other type of goggle that kids are really into is no goggle at all. It's a visor helmet. So I have two options here to show you. This is the Marker Bijo, or someone told me the other day it's the Marker Vijo, but it has a really cool visor that goes into the helmet and you can just pull it down. Visor helmets are great for kids who struggle with having their goggles on their face. A lot of kids are flipping them back. It's hard to manage everything, all the equipment all at once. So this gives you an easy solution to protect their eyes from the snow and the weather conditions um, without having the hassle of a goggle. If your kid has glasses, these are also a great option. This is the Head Mojo. It's also called the Maja, which is more of the like feminine colors, but the in this case, the visor just flips down from up high. You can do it with your gloves and mitts on and great cool looking colors. So these are some of your goggle options for kids. Check them out on our website and get your kids out skiing. So now let's talk about adult visor helmets. So if you're looking for something simple and efficient, rather than choosing a helmet and a goggle separately, this combines everything all at once. As an added bonus, if you're wearing glasses or you have trouble with your hands, these are a great option for making it easy to get on the hill, get out there, and not have to worry about the goggle and helmet combo. So today I have three options for you, but in our store and online, we have a lot more visor helmet options. These ones sort of give you an overview of some of the options and features to look for in a visor helmet. So the three options that I have today are the Giro Orbit Spherical MIPS helmet, the Head Rachel helmet, also called the Men's Head Radar helmet. And this one is the Atomic Saver Amid visor helmet. So something to look for is the way that the visor comes down on your face. This one uses a hinge system on the side. This one uses a less defined hinge system. And this one uses a more elasticated hinge system. I can just show you how that one works by trying it on. So it comes out from your face and stretches onto the side to give you a nice close fit. Then you pull it out and stretch it upwards and it fits in place. So the best way to know which hinge system and which visor is the right one for you is to try them on. Put the visor down and make sure you have a secure seal around your nose and your cheeks. You don't want any wind coming up through the bottom of your visor and giving you teary eyes. So make sure you've got a good solid seal there. So the other thing to look for in a visor helmet is premium lens technology. All the ones that we carry have that premium lens technology. Some will just have uh, even more premium lens and that will be called out on the helmet based on the price. This will give you that ultimate color and contrast and that precise vision that you need when you're on the hill. And lastly, don't forget about the helmet technology. When you're buying a goggle and a helmet separately, you always focus on those safety features and those additional features that make the helmet fit and feel good for you. So in your helmet, look for MIPS or MIPS equivalent technology. MIPS is a safety feature that protects you in the case of rotational falls. And many helmets have 
that feature these days. Other things are adjustable venting. This is important for keeping that, that sweat away from your head on those hotter days or when you're working hard. An adjustable dial fit or any kind of adjustability allows the helmet to sit snug against your head. And then also look at the chin strap technology. In this case, you have a Fidlock securing system, which is magnetic and is easy to use with gloves and mitts and will give you that pinch feeling on some of the other chin straps. But in the end, the most important feature is that the helmet fits your head properly so that you're safe and comfortable out on the hill. So thanks for watching this video. I hope this was useful in helping you choose the right goggle for you or your kids. If you have any questions, put them down below in the comments and we'll get to them and make sure that you get the right information. Like and subscribe and check out all these great products on our website at skisandbikes.com.